Hey, welcome to Arm Wraps. My name is Randy Miller, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to wrap the door uh, with Architectural Films. I'm going to tell you how long it takes and what I need to do or what you guys need to do before you install it the proper way. This is how I do it, and every wrapper wraps it a little bit different, but this is how I do it. Hopefully, you learned something. And let's go ahead and get to it. So, this door is actually 82 uh, inches high, and um, we're going to do both sides. So, I pre cut it to 84 inches. And uh, also, the first thing I do is we remove this right here, and the handles, and there's an eye uh, piece right here, but also I think there's a lock right here. Uh, I didn't remove it, so usually, uh, if, you, if I'm working on hotels, banks, anything that has security on it, um, I ask the, the company or the people that uh, work there, is just please remove everything off the door. So the only thing I have, like, basically have to come in do is clean the door, maybe do a little patchwork here and there, not much, like a bondo with a little dent or something like that, and just wrap it. So uh, this actually, both sides of the door, it takes about 40 minutes uh, to do one door. Okay, next thing I do, is I clean it with a invisible glass cleaner, and I get all around the edges, around the sides, and then lip free right, and get it nice and clean. And then what I do next is uh, I'm going to be wrapping the back side first. But the first I do before I do it, I use a Primer 94. I just on this one I just go around the edges, just right here, here, and then um, around the top and around the bottom. I just being cautious and also the Primer 94 really sticks, the vinyl sticks really good to the door when you, when you do it that way. Okay, let's kind of get started. Uh, I'm gonna do a little time lapse video just to speed it up. Okay, let's go. Okay, once I did the invisible glass cleaner, clean it really good. Make sure there's nothing really popping out or something I, I didn't see when I'm cleaning it. Okay, the next thing I do. Use Power 94. So now I use my bodyguard knife and I uh, go about uh, eight or about 10 inches down. Why well, I call it tacking on strips. This is what I do with all my prints too. This makes it easier for you guys to install. Also, me to install. So what I'm doing is I'm pre I'm cutting just the backing paper, not the vinyl. Okay, so I pre-cut the backing. It's about an inch right here. It's called tacking on strip. I named it. I like to pop something right here just to, so the door is not totally closed and just it's a lever leverage. The other thing I like to do is I like to do the back first and I loop here, do the back of course, and then wrap around the sides. Also around the sides on this side too. So I'm going to show you a demonstration on that one too. So I just make enough uh, vinyl that comes right by here to make sure it goes in and out or to the front. And again, every wrap, wrapper wraps it, installs it differently. I'm going to have about a half inch bleed on top. And I'm kind of feeling uh, the vinyl and the frame. This metal frame right here, I can feel it's kind of, it's all nice and level all the way down, or most of the way down, I can go so far down. So now I know it's level, plus I cut it straight up here, so I got, I could feel half inch for here and half inch over here, so it's, I know it's straight. So I'm gonna grab my, my tacking on strip and I'm gonna put it in there. Right now it's tacked on, so I'm just going to let it relax. That's the main purpose of that, to have it relax. I'm going to take my squeegee. This is the architectural film squeegee. This is, uh, we designed this in the house, and I designed it uh, a few years ago. And I just like, like a hard squeegee. And also the direction, the right direction to squeegee it in. Once you get the rhythm, you get it. So I'm just going to put my knee right here just to hold the door so it's not bouncing back and forth. Okay, so 
that's, uh, that's all set up now. Now I'm going to go to the back. everything, make sure everything is good before I get to live. Okay, now I'm going to grab the foot back in a little more, do another foot. Okay, next I just like to go to the door. Bowls. And yes, you will have extra vinyl on this side. Okay, so if I do the top and bottom, I stop right where it ends, and then I go upwards, or away, and then also on the bottom, I go down away. Let me show you real quick on the bottom. I'll put my knife, start in the middle, and I like to look right down. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going over here. I'm going to fill right where the corner is at. And I'm just going to go straight, almost straight. Okay, now I'm going to grab this and I'm going to pull tight this way. I like using my thumb. I can just kind of feel where the edges are at. Your thumb's soft or hard at the same time. And you got a little crease or a little wedge so you can feel it. That's the reason why I like using my thumb because I can feel the wedge. I wasn't pulling the vinyl hard enough on this on my left hand. On this trick right here where I like to go if I'm aiming right there I like to go my my knife 45 degrees angle this way and 45 degree angle this way. So uh, that's the way I like doing it. So I'm gonna cut right down the middle. Okay. So now I'm gonna do 45 this way and then 45 this way. So I'm just, and I'm going, I brought the knife out way out, as you can see right here, and, uh, and just do it this way. put things together I would go like this that's it okay here 45 this way but I'm gonna go upwards like this so I'm gonna go 45 45 and you got nice clean edges not grabbing or anything like that okay now I'm gonna open the door Softly. Now I'm gonna grab my fingers 
and we're going to lock it in. I'm going to grab my left hand or my right hand and then pull this out as far as I can, or hard enough that it's not stretches but it's taunt. And it's going to, I can feel how it flies. Now the Primer 94 really makes the vial stick. As you can see, I can pull real hard and it's not going to go anywhere. And I'm going to do it again. When I wrap this front, I'm going to do it again one more time. Okay, so on right here, we're going to cut straight this way. But uh, next, I'm going to actually use a heat gun. So I'm going to heat it and it's going to sink it in a little bit more. And I like to heat everything in layers. So do the back layer, heat it, do the front layer, heat it. So that when you heat it, the, the vial shrinks a little bit and activates it a little bit more. Now I'm going to cut this right here, go straight across this what you've seen right here. And same thing right here, just let a little sliver right there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just cut again 45, 45. So you got one extra bleed or one extra vinyl right here. I'm just going to put this right there and it's going to go up just a little bit. Okay. Now, this little extra piece right here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, because we're going to put a, the front here, and then I'm going to put a vinyl over here, but I want to make it the same level. Actually, you know what, I'm going to go up a little higher. And it's going to go slip, and then slip. And... So I do this all, and you can tell I didn't do it the 45, 45. And you can see right there. So now I can't feel anything. So when the vinyl, when the other vinyl goes here and here, it's not going to buckle right here in the corner. Okay, now it's all one level here, here, here. So it's all one level. Now let's do this part right here now. Okay, I'm going to use Primer 94 again. Honestly, don't need a lot. Just, just enough to put it on. This time, I'm going to have the vinyl come right about here, so I have enough to go around here. Now, there's a little extra on the right-hand side. I'm just going to trim it off, so I'm not fighting it. So I heat it so I can tell where the, the, the creases are at. You can also use your fingernail. You can see where that's at right there. Also, the, the heat activates the glue a little bit more and it softens the vinyl up so it sinks it in a little more. do is grab this so here's a little trick you can do it's hard for me to cut right here and I, and I don't want people to go right here grab it and there's like a little there's little lips right here and I don't want to cut into the the other vinyl so I grab the hard squeegee uh, 220 sandpaper and I just uh, do it at a 45 degree angle it's 
smooth now. And I'm gonna pull this top this way, and then I'm gonna, I could feel, I'm doing about a half inch uh, with my thumb on the edge, but also around this edge right here. And I'm pulling top this way. So I'm just kind of tacking it on slowly. And so if it gets, uh, it's kind of like a, uh, an edge on the vinyl itself, I can pull it up real easy because it's only tacked out, you know, half an inch. I always like starting almost in the middle. Okay, 45. Five. Yeah, that's good. Now I just want to do this side right here. Again, kind of like in the middle. So I'm doing a 45 this way and a 45 this way. Last and not least, I do the check. It has a little, a little, little bit here and there. Little lips. Again, grab the sandpaper, grab the backing so it's nice and hard. Just do a quick. it. So again, this took about 20 minutes on each side of the door, so 40 minutes. This does not include removing this handles or anything that's in the way. I'm just trying to make it as simple as possible. Oh, I forgot that. So if you, uh, if you want to check out more of the Arm Wraps uh, architectural films, go to armwrapsstore.com and you can check out the prices. Uh, and you can order samples, sheets, and rolls of the artificial films and uh, seriously if you've got any questions you can always call me 208-696-1180 also e email us at info at rmraps.com Devin or I will answer your questions and uh, we'll help you our best way we can help you All right. hopefully you enjoy the video hopefully you learn something if you want to hire us let us know